Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the order by onload and the filter onload properties. These will control whether your filter or your sort, your order by, are active or not active every time you open up a form. So if you want the filter or the sorting that you apply to your forms to be persistent, so they come back every time you open the form up, you can use these properties to turn that on or off, and I'll show you how in this video. Today's question comes from Rashad from Dubai, one of my Platinum members. Rashad asks, I've noticed that when I put a custom sort on my forms, it stays there the next time I open the form. However, when I apply a filter, it goes away. Is there any way to have the filter stay on so the next time I open the form, I don't have to reapply it? This is a very good question, Rashad, and yes, we can definitely set it up so your filter stays consistent and persistent, so the next time you open up the form, the filter that you placed last time stays on just like the sort does. And I'll show you how you can turn the sort off so it doesn't stay persistent. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website if you want to go grab it. I'll put a link down below. But let's take a look at the customer list. Here's my customer list form. Now, for those of you that don't know, you can put a custom sort or filter on this data. Let's say, for example, you want to sort by last name. Just click on the last name field and go sort A to Z. Same thing with the first name. Right click, sort A to Z. Okay, that'll sort by whatever field you want. You can also filter this data. Let's say you want to see only names that begin with the letter R. Okay, right click on that field and go with text filters and then begins with and then put the letter R in there and hit OK. And there's your custom filter. And you can control the filter by turning it on and off right there with that button. I cover sorting and filtering in great detail in my Access Level 1 course. It's absolutely free. It's three hours long. I'll put a link down below. Go watch it now if you don't know how to sort and filter your data. OK, now that we all know how to sort and filter, once you put a sort on, all right, let's say I've got this sorted by first name right now. And notice the IDs are out of sync. That's fine. If I close the form and come back to it, they're still sorted by first name. That's because the sort, or let's call it the order by, okay, the order by is persistent. It's set to stay on. All right, now if I change it to sort by last name and then close the form and come back to it, that's still on. Whereas the filtering goes away. If I filter... Let me change two of these names to the same. Let's say that uh, Deanna is now Deanna Riker. All right. If I filter this by Riker now, right click. It's just easier because it's right here. Riker. Okay. If I close the form and come back to it, the filter's off. Why is that? Let's take a look at the forms properties. Design view. The forms properties are right here. Double click. All right. Here's the filter that we set. And here's the order by or the sort. All right. The filter is customer t dot last name equals Riker. And the order by is actually last name comma first name. It's sort of both of those. Now take a look at this property, filter on load and order by on load. Filter on load is set to no and order by on load is set to yes. That is because when you set a filter or a sort, an order by property, that stays there. You don't even have to save the form. It just That's how access works. It saves that setting for you automatically. The difference is, by default, forms will have the order by on load property set to yes. So it will keep the sort from time to time. When you close and open and close and open the form, it's programmed to automatically reorder based on your last sort. Filtering is, by default, turned off. So if you want to change that, just change this setting to yes. Filter by on load. Now, if I close this form, save changes, and reopen it, my filter's still on. See that? Close it, open it back up again, all right? Even if you turn the filter off, close it, and come back into it, it still reapplies the filter. Turning this button off doesn't erase the filter, it just turns the filter off. But that filter's still in there. If you take a look at the properties, design view, see, it's still there. All right, the only way to get rid of it is to either come into properties and delete it like that. I just deleted the filter and the sort, all right? Or I'll show you the other way. See, now it's, it's not there. All right, or if you filter, you can get rid of it by right-clicking and then clear filter from last name. That's the same, that's the other way you can erase the filter. But that should answer your question, Rashad. 
All right, design view, properties, and right here you got filter by unload, order by unload. Likewise, if you want to turn that order by off, you can. If you don't want your form to resort every time you open it, just set both of these to off. All right, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You'll have to reapply the filter and the sort every time you open the form. And that's it. It's that simple. Okay, if you want to learn more, I've got a lot more in the extended cut for members. I show you how to manipulate this stuff using VBA programming. It's not scary. It's only a couple of lines of code. Everyone here is VBA programming. They get all crazy and, and, and stressful. No, no, no. It's really easy. I'll show you step by step. Um, there's a meet at filter and a filter on properties. They do the same thing that the form properties are that you saw just a minute ago. Same thing with an order by and order by on properties. You can manipulate those. So when the form opens up, you can set what those things are. If you want to have a custom sort or a custom filter every time the form opens, or you can make sure they're always off. Okay. Then I'll show you how to make those little custom combo boxes on the bottom, right? These little guys right down here. Okay. You can do a sort. Whatever sorts you want to have, custom sorts, first name, last name, last name, first name, state, whatever you got in there, okay, whatever fields you want to put in there that you think your users are going to use on a regular basis, all right, same thing with filter, last name contains, and I put R-I-K in there, and then hit go, all right, first name starts with J, okay, state equals, and then a drop down box for state, whatever you want to do, all right, I show you those right there, first name, last name, contains or begins with, you can easily add ends with if you want to. And then a little box for them to type in whatever they want. Or another combo box if you want to put that there. All right, this is all covered in the extended cut. Once again, my silver members and up get access to all of my previous extended cut videos. Right now, there's over 100. We just passed 100. Okay, uh, there's 100 tech help videos. I think we're 90-something with the extended cuts because a couple of them don't have extended cuts. But there's tons of material, silver members and up. Very inexpensive. It's a great investment. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them down below. And again, check out my Access Beginner Level 1 class. It's three hours of free training, and one of the lessons does nothing but cover sorting and filtering. So enjoy. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my Code Vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.